Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Cool Eagle, back here with another video. Just want to come talk to you guys because we have a lot to obviously discuss uh, in regards to things going on in the sports world. Um, but the biggest thing that I, that I want to talk about right now is the fact that a lot of people are making the argument. Um, well, not really a lot of people, just Skip Bayless. Um, the fact that he's saying that... Um, LeBron's legacy in Los Angeles towards the towards the later part of his career is some, is somehow inferior to Michael Jordan's last two two or a couple years with the Wizards, and I just found like that was super insane to say because um, didn't wasn't that like the third time that Michael Jordan retired in a fifteen year career. But yet, LeBron, who's never retired, who's pretty much been an Iron Man his, like a lot of his career, even though a lot of people can argue that he hasn't had as many 82-game seasons as Michael Jordan. Okay, that's totally fair. That's totally fair. But we can also argue Michael Jordan didn't have to carry a lot of the, of the responsibility on his team like LeBron James has had to in his, what, I think uh, 18, 19 year career. Like, he's always had to lead his team in points. He's always had to lead his, lead, lead his team in rebounds. Michael Jordan has never had to do that. Um, LeBron has always had to lead his team in assists. Um, Michael Jordan was never asked to do that. Mind you, asked to do that. Uh, LeBron has did that. And then the fact that during a pandemic, um, during a crazy time in American history, LeBron James was able to lead the Los Angeles Lakers to a championship. Whether people call it a bubble championship or not, it that happened. That literally happened. And a lot of people are trying to discredit that. I think it's unfair. I think it's... As a, as a sports fan, it's just super unethical to... To do that and to, and to make that argument. Um, however, again, it is one's opinion that I just vehemently, vehemently disagree with. Now, mind you, I am not defending the Los Angeles Lakers. I am uh, trying to argue a narrative that's been argued for LeBron James about his legacy in, in his last two years compared to Michael Jordan's last two years with the Wizards. Okay. Um, I mean, and just the fact, like, look at the numbers. The numbers should tell you everything. If LeBron were to retire, if LeBron were to retire right now with the Los Angeles Lakers, his numbers would, would be better than Michael Jordan. Um, he won a championship in his last two years. Um, I mean, what scoring title? Possibly. Um, so I mean, like, what more can you ask of this man? Like, what more can you ask of him? Play defense? Okay. Okay, that's fair. Uh, LeBron James could definitely play a little bit more defense. Um, a lot of times he is just caught standing there um, instead of, you know, playing defense. Michael Jordan has consistently did that. Uh, I think he has a couple Defensive Player of the Year awards, if I'm not mistaken. So that's one slight that we can have against LeBron James. He's not that efficient on the defensive side. Last year, okay, he was pretty good. But this year, maybe because of age, wear, and tear, or maybe he's feel like he's feeling like he's been asked to do more. Like he just hasn't been that same defensive player. Uh, but I'm curious to hear you guys' opinions. Um, and just thank you guys for listening.